assessing password complexity level and supported characters. We have reached during the assessment to the operator and we ask them the question, what complexity level is supported in your HMI the rating system and in HMI runtime application? And the answer was, I really don't know about password complexity and how they manage it here. Uh, you really need to check with uh, maintenance or uh, process engineering department. I think they can guide you and help you in that. So we couldn't get the answer from the operator. Therefore, we had to move forward to the maintenance and process and engineering departments to ask them the question. And again, we have the same answer. Password complexity? What is password complexity? I'm afraid we don't have a clue about it. I mean, and how many characters the controllers and HMI runtime application can support? I'm afraid we are not aware of this. But we might be able to connect you to the system integrator who had configured already this system and made the program for the process. Uh, I think you will find the answer there. Maintenance department and process engineering department gave us a very good advice we need to reach to the system integrator who had configured their system and made the program for the controllers and for the HMI. And we were able to get the answer. But that take a lot of time to get the answers from those guys. While we are working on threat assessment, we reach to the operator and ask them about what communication protocols are being used between the HMIs and the controllers, and we could not get any answer. Okay, communication protocol and HMI communication with other devices, I really have no clue about. I know we are communicating with the controllers and the sensors, we are collecting data, yes, I falsely know. But what exactly communication protocols and how they are configured, uh, we, we, we have no clue about this. And at this level of information, you might reach to uh, engineering or process uh, department. I'm sure they can help you in this. The operator suggested us later on to reach to the maintenance and engineering department to ask them the same question. The best I can tell you in communication protocols, so far we are using Modbus TCB IP and RTU and Profinet for some of the system uh, and process we have. Uh, from HMI to PLC and between PLCs, etc. I'm not really sure we have the full details you are seeking here, but uh, best you can do is to reach to the vendors or to the system integrator. They might be able to help you on this, uh, because uh, as per we know, and uh, based on the drawing we have, we, only, we can choose only these three protocols being used. I hope that's helped your assessment. And we were able to get part of the answer where they told us they are using specific communication protocols. So they gave us additional recommendation. Why don't you check with the system integrator or with the vendor who supplied the system? And we find out there are other communication protocols being used in these controllers. In selecting stakeholders process, before any cyber security assessment on any OT environment. It doesn't matter if you are dealing with pharmaceutical, if you are dealing with heavy industry like steel factory, if you are in food and beverage, or if you are in utility and energy sector, etc. It doesn't matter where are you doing the assessment. It's really important to select the right stakeholders to get the right information in assessment process, we are collecting data, and these data are very important 
and we need to make sure we get as possible accurate and clear data because based on this information you are gathering you are you are building a risk assessment you are building a roadmap you are building your capex and opex etc and there are so many information you are collecting and once in gathering information wrong information could make a big difference so understanding the relationship between the operators and maintenance and process department and as internal organization and it's different from uh, manufacturer to another it's different from uh, factory to another and the the relationship between those internal stakeholders with external stakeholders or third party like the vendors and the system integrators is are very important now one of the important questions we ask when it comes to communication protocol, password complexity, and so many other scenarios we could cover in this video, you will not find the answer inside this uh, uh, industrial facility or factory. So if they are wise enough and aware enough about the information you are collecting, how important it is, and if they are aware about the criticality and the importance of cyber security they will try their best to guide you through the right person who will give you the right information now why i would focus here on the importance of system integrator or the importance of the vendors first of all we need to differentiate between uh, two things first one we have two types of vendors. We have the vendors who sell us the industrial control system like programmable logic controller, like touch panel, like uh, the human machine interface uh, software, runtime application, configuration application, etc. And what they are doing here, they are only selling it as a product, but they are not doing the configuration and they are not doing the programming of your PLC. And what they are doing, they have uh, a system integrator, maybe certified one, and those certified system integrator, they are the one who are coming all the way to your facility and doing the configuration. So here I ask the question, who does know the most of these system and uh, can guide me and give me the right information I need in my assessment? And this is the system integrator. Now, second thing, we have the vendors who are supplying you the materials as an end user, and at the same time, they are doing the configuration themselves. They don't give it to the third party. I cannot mention names here, but there are so many examples on this. So the assessor needs to be aware on who is my stakeholders and why I need to select X stakeholder and for what information I am gathering. Best I can say here is a really challenging process and it takes time. Finally, the purpose of this video is to explain the importance of system integrator involvement in any industrial control system cyber security assessment even if you are working on a cyber security solution, you need to provide for your industrial control system facility. You really need to rely on the system integrator at some level and take advice from them. If you are coming from IT background and you have a challenge in understanding this kind of information, you need your system integrator to guide you through and help you uh, in addition to uh, the internal uh, organization including procurement including operation department maintenance department and uh, process department now one important thing here when I say that the operator doesn't know the complexity of the password 
and what level it can support for HMI runtime application, for example. When I say that they might not, they don't know the communication protocol being used and all these details, it doesn't mean they are bad, it doesn't mean they know nothing, and it doesn't mean it's applicable for all the operator and for all those maintenance department or process department. You will find people who have good knowledge and they know uh, they have good information, but at the end, when you think about it, this organization or this factory, whether it's producing water, it's producing kind, some kind of food, it's producing some sort of steel, they only need to know the level of info, information, they need to have the level of skills that serve them to provide that product, not to know all these details because that will be additional cost on the organization. That will be an uh, additional, uh, it might result in additional uh, expenses uh, after all in the organization. Because usually you will hear this, we are not an engineering company, we are selling product, we are selling electricity, we are selling water, we are selling uh, medicine. So this is important point I would like to share with you. I hope you find this video informative and you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you like the videos, if you think these videos help you in your career, if it help you in assist your assessment, please support the channel, share the videos, and thank you very much. See you in another video. Bye.